So, what seems to be the problem? Sir, it is Grace. Grace? I saw Grace today at Chisholm Limited. Again? The last time she did that, you told me to ignore her. Now she's starting all over again. Do you know the reason why the prince and the wise general conquer the enemy whenever they move and their achievements surpass those of ordinary men? No, sir. For knowledge. You already know Grace. So why don't you relate with her according to knowledge? Did she manage to, to steal the account this time around? No, sir. At least, not yet. Then think nothing of it. Don't bother yourself. Think like the prince and the wise general and your achievements. We always surpass those of ordinary men. I'm sorry about my outbursts. It's okay. Sir, there's something I don't understand. What could that be? If you know that Grace is not effective, why do you still have her? <laughs> That's because the skillful employer of men employs the wise, the brave, the covetous, and the outrightly stupid. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm tired. Do you want to tell me about it? Fanta. Just tired. It's as if all the money I'm working for is just sinking into a well. The problem is getting too much for me to handle. Did something else happen? Tommy is pregnant. What? You mean the one in school? What does all these girls feel for you now? As if that is the big problem. She even tried to abort it. She's in the hospital now. And the doctor is asking for 50,000 Naira deposit. Fanta, where on earth am I going to get that kind of money? Yeah. I'm so sorry. I just collected my salary advance this month. Oh my Where am I God. going to get it? Feel so tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. Miss that red gown. Are you alright? <sighs> what can I say? You can start by telling us what's bugging you. Oh. Okay, you know what? Whoever has had the best day pays for ice cream. Deal. <laughs> <laughs> I think I actually had the most horrible day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To start with, Benson didn't show up as a good. Benson? Okay, which one do you And you know Benson now. The guy we met at a papa club. A papa club? You know now the one we called Alien Fifi. Oh! Mm. <laughs> oh wait. 
he, he has a great sense of humor. See, your no show date doesn't count. That's not an issue. That, that, that is not the only issue. Can you believe that Grace? Grace tried to steal Nonso from me. Nonso. Nonso. You're dating Nonso? No. Yes. Ah. Uh, in fact, she did her account herself. Eh? The only business meeting though. Yeah, you <laughs> like him. What do you mean? I yes. Like You're so buying ice cream. <laughs> well, the worst thing that happened to me today was that they really asked for 50k loan for the sister's corrective surgery for, for an abortion gone bad. That's not your problem. By extension. It seems like both of you just have to split the check because... So what's eating you up? <sighs> Aka wants his father. What? What? Hmm. It all started with this damned social studies class, and since then he's been asking for his father. So, what are you going to do now? The man doesn't even know he exists. The thing is, for the past thirteen years, I have been struggling to raise that boy, and now this. At so, how are you enjoying your stay in Nigeria? Well, um, I'm thinking of investing here and settling down. Oh, that's nice. So, what do you hope to invest in? I don't know yet, but I'm thinking automobiles. That sounds exciting. You know, I've always been a car freak. Well, as long as you have the clientele. Yeah, I have some people placing orders to me now. Okay. So, once I have the cars on ground, I could make more profit. Then I can afford to marry. Hey, is it that expensive? Well, it depends on how you look at it. First, you have a wife. Okay. Then kids. Uh -huh. Before you know it, another child. Uh -huh. You know, school fees and stuff. <laughs> well, that's true. But if you have two people, you know, like a man and a woman, they could both work. Hmm. My dear, most ladies are meat. Are only interested in what they can get. Well, I know ladies that would rather give. Really? Yes. Well, just give me names and numbers. I, I'll check them out. So, are you trying to tell me that there's no one in your life? I am single, searching, and available. So, what about you? Oof, I have baggage. Well, some people don't mind baggage. Well, I really should be going. I'm late for a meeting. Really? Yes. So, perhaps dinner tomorrow? I always have dinner with my son. When you guys will have to let me join you? We'll see about that. I was of the same opinion until I found Madame Remy experimenting. I don't know about the cigarette. 
She also claims she doesn't know. So how did it get into your room? I really don't have to stress how dangerous something is to your health. But what I do need to stress is if you catch any dangerous, crazy disease from, from engaging in harmful habits, you will bear the consequences alone. It's only two of you, I know. You know the dirty one. But you know what? I'll just let this go. I'll let it go. But the next time, the very next time this happens again in this house, we will not be having this discussion. You can leave.
It was all about the account. <laughs> what can I say? Nice work. Good. You know, Lonsu hasn't said anything about that account yet. Uh -oh. We have competitors. Not quite. He hasn't even asked for their proposals. <laughs> so you're getting the account? Seems likely. But, for some strange reason, I'm so is holding back. Babo. Anyway. I have another little favor to ask. What is it? Can we discuss this over dinner? You <laughs> asking me out to dinner? You don't want to spend a nice quiet evening with me? Who wouldn't? A date then. It's a date. I love your color. So Thank tell you. me how you're doing. Hmm. I said let me come to the look a little for your trouble before leaving. I'm going to catch up with you later in the evening. Place. I want to visit a friend. Uh, did you go on this by a moment? Dad. You know we don't want her to get all upset about this. <sighs> you better don't give me that look. 
You know how fusy your mom can be when it has to do with you. Just give me your permission. What are you meeting? A friend. We just met. Sounds male. I'm 18, Dad. So he's male. I never said that. <laughs> hmm. You know your mom and I want the best for you. And we don't want you to get into trouble, especially with these boys around. You know I'll be careful, Daddy. I know you will. And I know how difficult it is for you as a growing girl. Sadie, you just need to be careful. Okay, you have my permission. Oh my God! <laughs> Thanks so much, Dad. Now you can go. is the story of four women from different backgrounds and their journey through life as they search for that one thing that we all search for love china a single successful 28 year old lady from a wealthy background she's seen as carefree and loose but china has a secret and it's threatening to destroy her and her friendship with the rest Etiosa, a married woman in her late 30s. She's married with two daughters. She's not happy with her life and suspects her husband is cheating on her. To make it worse, she has a strained relationship with her oldest daughter. Inse, a single mother in her early 30s. Inse has a teenage son and is seriously looking for love. But then, a new love interest shows up in her life and is threatening her relationship with her friend and her son. Shadi, an 18-year-old girl about to enter university. She looks forward to leaving the house because she doesn't get along with her mother and her mother does not approve of anything she does. Will she make the right choices as she becomes an adult? Watch as these women sort out their personal issues and their issues with life. All in Eve.